So this question says an isosceles right triangle. Um, so <clears throat> as soon as I read something that is not drawn but could be drawn, I like to draw it. So I'm going to draw an isosceles right triangle. I'm going to remember that, of course, in order for it to be right triangle, I have a right angle. But in order for it to be isosceles, I have two equal sides. So I'm going to just mark those sides as equal. So an isosceles right triangle has a hypotenuse of length 4 inches. Okay, so now I label my hypotenuse as 4. What is the perimeter in inches of this triangle? Okay, so I need to figure out, well, what, is the, what are these values here? So I know, I've memorized this, but this is also in the given information on the first page of your math section, that when you have an isosceles right triangle, the sides are x, x, and x root 2. So what does that tell me? That tells me that this 4 here in the questions right triangle is the x root 2 side right? So I can now solve for x to figure out what these x values are. So I'm going to take 4 equals x root 2. I'm going to divide both sides by root 2. So I have x equals 4 over root 2. I'm going to rationalize this because we don't like to have radicals in the denominator. So this becomes 4 square root 2 over 2. Root 2 times root 2 is just 2. I can simplify this further because 2 goes into itself once. 2 goes into 4 twice. So this e ends up being x is equal to 2 root 2. So that means my right triangle, which I'll draw again, should be 2 root 2 here, 2 root 2 there, and 4 here. So the perimeter is just adding up all three of those sides. So I have 2 root 2 plus 2 root 2 plus 4. 2 root 2 plus 2 root 2 is 4 root 2 and plus 4. Those are not like terms, so I cannot combine them together. So 4 root 2 plus 4 is my answer, and therefore choice C, although they have it in a different order, right? They have the 4 first, and then the 4 root 2. That's perfectly fine. Choice C is the correct answer here.